Okay, this 2001 Pontiac Aztec with a 3.4 liter engine appears to be overheating. Now the owner recently um, flushed the radiator, but we're just going to go over this thing and troubleshoot it. Um, first thing I'm going to do is check the levels in the radiator, and um, we'll heat, get it up to temp and uh, bleed it. A couple bleeder screws on this engine. There's one right here. And these need to be opened up when it's at operating temperature and uh, the air let out. There's one here. There's one over here by the water pump. So we'll check both of those. And then we'll take this for a test drive and um, see if it really is overheating or there's another problem. Um, we're going to be taking a hard look or using the temperature sensor to help us troubleshoot this. See what the actual temperature is in there. Now this sensor is right down here. It's my finger on the, on the wire. Plugs into the water outlet. So here's a closer look at it. A little light on the subject. What we're going to do while we troubleshoot this is uh, unplug it, check the resistance, and then compare what we're getting uh, to a table that I have in a manual. And let's see what the actual temperature uh, translates from translates into uh, from ohms to degrees. So I took off the cap and found that there's the coolant isn't topped off in here. And this is the third I'm using this syringe because it's a really messy process otherwise. Okay, so it took six syringes. Not sure exactly how much that is volume wise. So we let that settle and just topped it back off with the caps full. Okay, right now the engine's cold and I'm going to unplug this. I've got my little Okay. Okay, then unplugged. Now we'll get a meter in there and see what the resistance is. That's what I have just a couple solid test wires in here. Probably like 18 gauge, something like that. So we have them both in here. Right now there's the ignition's off. I'm going to do is turn the ignition. I've got my meter hooked up on the other end of these. And what we're going to do is uh, turn the ignition on and see if we have uh, our 5 volts there. Okay, our ignition is on, so there's proof that uh, the correct voltage is at the end of the plug. Okay, the fans are on now with that sensor unplugged. With it plugged back in, the fans are off. So I just got a, a point, pointed type of meter probe and I'm putting that on there, kind of jamming it in there on the two leads. You can see it from this angle here. Let's look at the other one in there and we'll see what it reads. So there's my red lead. And I'm just watching my meter until I get a reading. And 3.659K. So going to our table from our manual. We've got uh, 3659 ohms. So find the two that this falls between, the two ohms readings. And we're between, right here, 30, between 3520 and 4450, between 68 and 58 degrees. And notice the temperature, as temperature goes up, resistance goes down, inverse relationship there. So we just did some math, 10 degree span in temperature, 930 degree span in ohms, resistance, 93 ohms per degree and now we took our number 3659 and subtracted it from the higher number we have 791 ohms little math 93 ohms per degree into 791 equals 8.5 degrees so we're 8.5 degrees higher than 58 to be 66.5 is what that temperature sensor is telling us let's compare that to what we have in, in the car Okay, there we have uh, our sensor in the car, reading 66 degrees, and uh, it's early morning. This car's been sitting overnight, so um, that matches pretty closely to what we had with the uh, means of reading the ohms off the uh, temperature sensor. Okay, we've got this uh, vehicle at uh, operating temperature now, and um, thermostat opened and now we're just bleeding out the uh, air that might be in there. It's an important step and, and this is about the only way you can do it on this car. Use these bleeder screws 
do it as many times as you have to until it comes out uh, without any air in it. So the complaint with this Pontiac Aztec is that it's overheating. In order to take it out, we're going to warm it up, get it up to operating temperature, and see what the gauge is going to tell us. Um, because the complaint has been that it's getting all the way up here, you know, near the H, into that last zone there, the overheating zone. So we're going to take it out for a few minutes and then see where we're at. Um, what I plan to do is take some resistance readings off of the uh, temperature sensor, uh, which we can convert into degrees and see what the actual, see what's going on in there. Okay, I've been out just two minutes. You know, the gauge is already up there to that first tick mark. And we have the quarter uh, gradient mark. Okay, here we are just three minutes. And you can almost see this gauge go up. To me, that's rising almost kind of ridiculously fast. And by the way, I'm in a parking lot. I'm not doing this as I drive. I'm driving and stopping and doing some video. And Okay, here we are now. We're just five minutes into our warm-up, and I've been driving around city streets a little bit, parking lots, and, and this thing is showing. See the jump right there? And it just went over. This went over the what, what is normally just below that would be the operating temperature. See it move all by itself. Without, I'm just idling right now in a parking lot. And I haven't been going over 30 miles an hour during this uh, warm-up phase. Again, six minutes into it now. We just completed a 10-minute drive around warm-up. We've got the heater on briefly here, and it's, it's hot. It's about 55 degrees here this morning. We're going to let this idle now. Um, I'm going to put the idea of, of idling up to the point where the fans come on. So here we are after 10 minutes of idle. Fans haven't kicked in yet. Okay, we're going to pop the hood now and uh, continue to idle this car until the fans come on and check the temp. Upper radiator hose is piping hot. You know, we're, we're at operating, close to operating temperature, so I'm just going to get it to the point where the fans come on now and um, see what the temperature is then. That's 20 minutes of idle. Half an hour of idling. It's creeping into the red. Okay, the fans just kicked in and back off. Okay, after the fan kicked in, it dropped down a fairly significant amount for the short time those fans are in. So the meter leads in there. We're reading 180.5 ohms. So we'll just go to our table and convert this in two degrees. Here's our table. This is out of a Haynes manual for this car. And you can see 180 ohms. This is going to be somewhere around 210 degrees. I can get this out, figure it out exactly, but it's not really overheating. That should be an operating temperature. So here's a representation of the gauge. And I took four readings in the course of troubleshooting this. And I came to trust the sensor because it was, seemed to be consistent, um, especially at the low end. 66 degrees, basically at room temperature on a morning when it was that temperature, told me that this uh, temperature sensor is good. The gauge, however, it's overreacting. You know, this needle here at the operating temperature, 211, where the fans came on, should be down here, below middle, below midpoint. So it's an instrumentation problem. Okay, we're all done now. Somebody else, I'm going to turn this over to the owner now because they're going to be replacing this. Uh, bezel. The odometer just isn't lit up either on it. So uh, we just did the troubleshooting for them and uh, figured out that, hey, it may look like it's overheating. It may seem to be overheating, but the cooling system, uh, the control system is working perfectly fine. Thanks for watching.